Syria is giving up its chemical weapons, but in return, the regime may have bought time to stay in power, at least until the disarmament process is completed in the middle of next year. That is also around the time the next presidential election is scheduled. Until then, President Bashar al-Assad's cooperation is needed for the weapons mission to succeed. This such a uh, symbol of uh, coalescence amongst the security apparatuses, the armed forces, the militia, etc., the organs of state, if you will. He is the one, the pivot that all of these uh, 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 circle around. The war is no longer a conflict between two sides. Rebel groups have no unified command. Al-Qaeda is present, and Assad is not just relying on the military. He also depends on a decentralized security apparatus along with pro-government militias. I don't believe the Americans, the Americans want the Syrian security apparatus to disintegrate. Actually, they made, they made it very clear that they want to preserve the machinery of government, which includes the military intact. I don't think he will be authorized, or I don't think uh, heading in power will be one of his prerogatives. No, I think he will be allowed to, uh, to complete his term. Now Russia and the U.S. want to revive a diplomatic initiative in Switzerland that stalled over what should happen to Assad. If that peace conference convenes in Geneva, discussions won't be about the regime handing over power. The goal would be to establish a transitional governing body that would involve members from the opposition and the regime. It will be about reaching an agreement on power sharing. That is something the opposition and its regional backers don't want. In January, Assad made clear a political settlement would involve a ceasefire and a national dialogue to decide on a new constitution and a cabinet. Months later, the regime is just as defiant, insisting that Assad handing over power is not up for discussion. The chemical weapons agreement has been a turning point. Assad may have won this political battle in a war that has still not been won. Zana Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut.